Namibia is quite a mountainous area. We find a lot of um, very high, very steep mountains. And depending on uh, which area in Namibia you're gonna visit, it can be that you need to ascend or descend on a steep hill with your vehicle. This is also very important to know exactly what to do. First of all, not to um, damage your car, uh, damage your tires, and also for your own safety to get up and down the hill without any problems. For climbing mountains, of course, the Land Cruiser is very, very good. Uh, it likes very rocky terrain. This is where it really thrives. Important thing about all of the 4x4 vehicles, if you if you come to a mountain uh, or mountain path that is very, very steep, very rocky, very loose, um, definitely always engage also into low four. Now the low four gear um, provides um, much more power, much more torque, and uh, also has the benefit that it's uh, that you can drive very slow. Driving slow gives you uh, more concentration. It gives you more time to react and to, uh, to assess every, every step of the way. And then important also, if it should be a very loose or very corrugated uh, mountain pass that you're driving, it's always best to also engage your uh, rear diff lock. If needed, also the front diff lock with the Land Cruiser, but uh, most of the time the rear diff lock is fine enough. Um, where you should not be using a diff lock or where you should disengage it while driving if you come to a very um, sharp corner uh, definitely before the time disengage the diff lock all right then i would say let's climb into the car and let's tackle this mountain if you're now standing in front of a very steep hill that you want to climb uh, it's very important also to to really assess the track which is lying in front of you. So this can help you to first see, is it even possible that you can climb there? Are there many, maybe so deep washouts that you cannot go up there? Or are there maybe obstacles obstructing the road that could damage the car? Let's say like this big rock. No? So in this case, uh, just go and remove any obstacles out of the way. Or should you have a very deep hole, then you can also use these rocks to fill these holes. Another important thing is also, if possible, if there's a spotter, let's say a passenger that can climb outside and that can direct you while driving. So the best would be that this person moves a little bit away and then always moves as your car is moving. And uh, this person can via hand signs or via walkie-talkie if you have it show you where to go if there's like big stones here and your tires need to be going on this direction they can direct you or stop you or tell you to come whatever no using hand signs um, assist you while going up as i said already you need to engage your low gear to help you go up a steep mountain but also the low gear helps you go down a mountain because especially with manual cars, the engine brake is then also engaged. So very important, if you go down the hill, engage your first gear, your low gear, get your foot off the clutch and just let the engine help you brake. You can always assist while uh, with using your, your normal brakes if you're getting too fast, but always try to leave your foot off the clutch and just slowly go down this mountain with your engine brakes. Um, another benefit this causes is the engine brakes uh, doesn't block your tires like your manual brake does. This also causes that your tires are slowly turning all the time while when you would use your normal brake it can be that the tire uh, stops and slides and your car can start sliding to one side. So best um, leave your foot off the clutch and only use the brake if you needed to, if your car is getting too fast. In this case, definitely first gear, first driving gear, low four and the rear diff lock uh, to safely go up this mountain.
when driving on rocky roads or very still um, uh, steep hillsides, can sometimes happen that you reach places where there's big rocks embedded in the ground, meaning you cannot remove them and throw them out of the way. Uh, so in this case, you just need to know that these big stones, which cannot be removed, can cause damage underneath your car. So it's very important to get also to, to get to know your car underneath, uh, to see where are the low lying parts or low hanging parts of your car, and then to remember this when driving in these rocky areas. So if you can see underneath this car, you have a differential, more or less right here where this big rock is, uh, meaning that if you drive over it, it can be if this if, if this uh, rock is high enough that it's going to hit the differential housing. Or on the other case, it can also get your cross members or also your spring packs at the back. And this can cause quite severe damage to your car and can cause a breakdown. So the most important thing to remember, if there should be a rock which is quite big, so you, it cannot pass underneath the car uh, and you cannot remove this rock, the best situation is then always to see that you drive with your tire thread, with the flat part of your tire, over this rock. These rocks normally don't damage this part of your tire. No, it, it, they can damage the side walls of your tire, but the fret is fine. So if you slowly pass over this rock or these uh, stones, um, you're not going to cause any damage to your cars. When going down very steep uh, slopes or mountains, it is best to engage your low four gear and put your, your gearbox into the first gear. This will allow your engine to also brake your vehicle. Because of the changed gear ratio, um, your engine has quite a high um, RPM at that stage, even when you go quite slow, and this is gonna help you slow down your car. So the best is while driving, take your foot off the clutch that you are in first gear, low gear, and just let your engine brake do the job. You can assist it by slowly pressing your brake if you want to, but um, most of the time the engine brake is going to take over most of the braking. So now in this instance um, I'm not pressing the brake at all. The engine brake is doing all the work, uh, yeah, even on this steep hill. And the positive things about it is that uh, your tires uh, don't block. If you use your manual brake, your tires might block and your car can slip a little bit. Uh, with your engine brakes, there's a continuous turning of your tires, giving you more traction, more control, and also as a safety precaution that your brakes do not overheat while going down steep mountain passes.